great day to get out for a walk and relax, de-stress in this week before we get the kids back to school. Sometimes the most uh, stressful time is this time right now. Kids are still around. You still need to have events and activities for them to do, but we're trying to get ready for back to school as well. How do we keep it stress-free, and what are some of the things that we need to prepare? Linda Chu, professional organizer, joins us now. Uh, Linda, we'll start off over here mm. with decluttering the bedroom. Oh, absolutely. I mean, summertime, growth spurt, so now it's time mm -hmm. to do a sizing check. So you've got to go through all the closets, go through all the drawers of the kids' clothing to check to see if it works, this, or if it still fits. This is a perfect time to take out all those hand-me-downs. And if you're organized, you will have organized it by season, by size, because it may be the right size, but the wrong season. Well, and this is crucial because everyone thinks, oh, I have to do all this back-to-school shopping. You may have that hand-me-down item. You yes. need to go through these things first, uh, so you determine, oh, I only need to get one or two things. Yeah, and even clothing swaps up amongst the parents. Perfect. With all the different sizing, you can swap them up. And there are lots of Facebook groups for that as well. Yes. I love this one right here. Tell us what we're looking at in this bin. So you're talking about an in-home pharmacy. So back to school, fall is around colds and flu, so make sure you have all of that handy. You're not running out at a 24-hour convenience store to grab it at, in an emergency. At, at a high price and it might not be open exactly. for a cold medication. You also talk about... I talk about the four-letter word. Back lice. to school, lice. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? If you have kids in elementary school, lice is a at, big part of it. Some you point, are going you will to be get affected. a lice notice. <laughs> Absolutely. For sure. And yeah. then it's like, oh no, we all have lice. Yeah. I've been there and I've gone to the 24 hour <laughs> pharmacy to find the lice stuff. Uh, it would be easier if we just had it at if home. You had it at home, exactly. Be prepared. Okay, what's going on here? So, here I always talk about a plug and play healthy snack option. Kids come home from school, they're starving before lunch. So, you don't want them to get into the chips and candy, but have healthy snacks so that they can help themselves in a reachable drawer for example and then it also is a teaching moment as well that they can pack their own lunches so they go into the same drawer pull out a juice pack fruit um, bars and all you need to do in the morning is put in the sandwich or something that is needed to be refrigerated I'm not going to lie to you our fridge does not look that good <laughs> that image is really organized yeah and you're right organization is crucial for these types of things yeah. okay guys the big bin of back to school or back after school snacks it's on the right go Go in there, grab what you need, grab what you need. and then yeah. they're not bothering you, or if you're at work and have older kids calling you exactly. for these types right. of things, there's nothing to eat. Yeah, so self-serve, and then that's something they can be independent and do it on their own. And you talked about this as well. Um, giving them the independence to help you make the lunches, mm -hmm. prepare the lunches. Tell yeah. us about that. I mean, you've got enough to do, you know, with your own work and getting dinner on the table, laundry, all of this stuff, so the kids at least can start to make their own lunches, maybe not their sandwiches and such until they're older, but certainly fill their lunch um, bag right. with the healthy snacks. Every year we get these lists sent out by the schools. It's great to have them that tell you the supplies that you need. Mm -hmm. Every year at the end of the season, you bring home all these supplies yeah. and many of them have not been used. Yes. So, so shop so, at home. <laughs> shop at home. <laughs> I love that message. So find your pencil crayons, your crayons, yeah. your pe your uh, post pads, post-it notes, post yeah. notes that you already have before you put that kit together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're organized again, everything will have been like with like, but again, see what you have that is broken or you need more of, make your list and then go out. Same with labels. Um, schools for fundraisers, they will sell labels yep. nowadays, but again, um, if you have the time, um, you can always use your label maker, but you can have them already pre-printed because of the loss factor. This one's the most important to me. Uh, it's the scheduling. Yes. I love what you've done here. How do we keep our kids' activities organized? The calendar is like the Bible. and It's um, the one-stop shop for everything. So there's an older calendar. But on the calendar, each child has perhaps a, a different color. You can use there's erasable pens nowadays that you can purchase buy with different colors mm -hmm. or you can use regular pens and highlight so each child has a different color so you'll know exactly by looking at the calendar who is doing what and when the most important thing about the calendar is that conversation piece around 
pick up schedules, um, after school care, all of that. Okay, and we're looking at the command center that you have set up here. This mm -hmm. is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, you have a physical calendar, which I love as opposed to an app, or at least in conjunction with an app. But what about organizing some of the other items? Yeah, so the command center, yes, you can certainly um, go out and purchase different components as it um, relates to the decor that you have in your home. Sure. But the elements basically is wall pockets so that you would have one for notices, things that the parents have to sign, different one for each um, for mail and so forth. There's also this dry erase that you have uh, sheets that you can put onto any wall and remove so then you can have that repositionable and these are where your checklist can notes for each other and as far as boards are concerned so just a simple board that comes with a calendar that's dry erase as well as magnetic and cork surface so there's different options that are available out there depending on your design. Perfect. How do we find you? We are at um, out of K Chaos.ca. Out of chaos.ca. Thanks so much. Good. We Thank really you, appreciate the tips. Uh, coming up.